When we see a film or a video, we only see the final outcome of the video. There's more to that. There is a lot of planning before a film production crew starts the actual shooting. This planning process is what we call the pre-production stage. In this video, we'll cover how you can structure your story, put it on a script and turn it into a storyboard before you go out and shoot. Let's go. Story structure is simply a framework that underlines the order and manner in which your narrative is presented to the audience. More or less like a draft or an essay. There are many story structures out there, but we'll just take the simplest one, the three act structure. This simply means that there are three acts in your story. Act one, act two, and act three. Act one is where you set up your scene, where you introduce your characters and setting. Act two is the confrontation act. Here is where you will create obstacles for your characters and build up the anticipation before Act 3. In Act 3, you enter the resolution stage, where the climax reaches its peak. But in Act 3, you also have a descending action after the climax, where we like to call it giving a soft ending. Script. After a story structure has been created, you can write your script. Here is where your dialogues and details of your settings come in. Also, this is the time when you insert written directions for visuals on screen. For example, at a moment of suspense, you will write close up on character to show visually the emotions of your character during that suspenseful moment. You can have different script writing formats and each one works fine. Use the ones you feel comfortable with. Storyboard. Storyboard is where you turn your story on paper into static visuals that are either sketched or simply pictures. Here in Arus, we just use pictures as sketching requires knowledge in drawing and it takes so much time. Your storyboard must be almost identical to exactly how your shots will look like. If your shot of the character sitting down will look distance at a low angle, then your image in your storyboard of this shot must be distance and at a low angle too. Storyboard isn't just for you to refer to how your final video will look like, but also an important material to acquire to communicate effectively to your other crew of how the video or particular shot will look like. For tips on how to capture the best pictures for your storyboard, is either take it on your own or use free licensing stock images. Okay, to sum it up, pre-production is the most important part of your video making. This process enables you to foresee your vision and the challenges that you may face during the shoot and after. Remember, if you fail to plan, you are essentially planning to fail. Watch our next video where we teach you the basics of using the camera during your shoot. See you then.